Hello guys, this is Nardis7 back with another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi Battle And I know the timeline is long and I know the video of course is long Because, you know, it's a four, almost 50 turns battle, yes So it's a pretty interesting one too and it comes down to be really narrow So please stay till the end and um, yeah, just stay tuned to it I guess I can say so I don't even have time to go for a team preview Or else you guys are going to be bored to death So let's just go straight into it so, I didn't knew what he wanted to lead off with, so I just let off with my Among Us because I could spore anything, and he does lead with this Chinchino, and he goes straight for the Tail Slap, I am fully defensive, so, um, it's doing a bit, and I see he only hits two times, and that's because he is Life Orb Technician and not Skill Link, so that's good to know, and plus he is Life Orb, so I'm gonna be able to put that thing asleep with the Spore, which is really nice, because now he's gonna be forced to switch, gonna go into Miss Rivas, as I believe I also switched because I could do nothing into Chinchino, and I go into this thing because I could set up a substitute on his face, but as he brings in the Ma Miss Magius, not Miss Magius, my god, Mi oh, Miss Rivas, I think, as he goes for the taunt on my Slowking, and Slowking is useless taunt is, so I'm gonna have to switch again into my Rotom Cut, which is basically the only thing that gets some damage off on this Miss Rivas, he happens to go for the heal by looking up his Chinchino, which is totally fine by me, because I'm gonna be able to go for the Vault Switch, and yeah, he does bring in the Drodigon, but I did predict the switch really nicely, so Volt Switch back, he still does a bit, because Stream is a Drodigon, and Drodigons are bulky. So I do go into my um, Among Us again, because as now that he heal belt, I can put something else to sleep, as he does go for his Stealth Rocks, and this game will be, um, yeah, it's gonna be switching in and out, so Stealth Rocks are kinda bad for me, especially because I don't have a Rapid Spinner. So, I do I'm able to put that thing asleep, which is really nice, because right now, um, he does switch into his, um, this thing, this Typhlosion, but I also switched because I knew that I could do nothing into Drodigon, so I go into my Rotom Cut, as he, now I am, like, afraid of the obvious eruption slash Fire Blast, so I switch right back into my Slowking. Like I said, Stealth Rocks are really bad for this, because, you know, lots of switching in and out, but luckily though he goes for the Fire Blast, and that doesn't do much at all, because some resisted and it's a freaking Slowking. So he does bring in this thing, Drodigon, I don't know if he predicted a Toxic or not, maybe he just predicted a regular skull. and because um, he was asleep he could not get burned, so that was a good play on his part overall. So he does make the switch right now into Megaton, as I just switch all my own into my Rotom Cut, because like I said, um, I, well, I didn't say it, because, but I'm gonna say it now, of course, um, I have Ancient Power Eyes on this Rotom Cut, especially because of Drodigons. So, in, now he brings in the Quagsire, blocks my Rap Vol Switch, of course, because it's a ground type, and I'm gonna go into Among Us, because Giga Drain, four times effective, definitely gonna be able to knock him out from full HP, but he does make the switch into Typhlosion, which is scary, again, because he's at full HP, he can go for the Eruption, but he pulls a double switch into his Magneton as I go for my Slowking, and his guy is playing really good, pulling those double switches, as now I can go definitely go for the Thunderbolt. I know I can live one, not nicely, but I can live one, so I just stayed in and went for the Fire Blast, and yeah, that was really lucky on my part, because he went for the Substitute. If he got the Substitute up, like a free Substitute, that would have been totally bad, but no, I'm just gonna be able to hit the Fire Blast, thankfully, and kill him. Well, kill the Substitute, of course, not my Idon. <laughs> so, he's gonna be able to go for the Thunderbolt, and I went for the Skull, because I predicted him to switch, and I could get a burn on something. I do happen to get the burn, which is really nice, but if I gone for Fire Blast, that thing would have more than likely be out of the way. But this means I still have to handle with that thing because at least he's gonna be here for like four turns, three, four turns, I think three. So going to my Manetric, um breaking on a Thunderbolt doesn't really work out because it goes for the in power something, I guess fire. But now I can go for the Volt Switch, which should be able to knock him out even being resisted. Um, except not, because he lives with 2 HP, so something that's gonna have to take a hit, which is gonna be my Among Us. And luckily he goes for the Thunderbolt, so Among Us is gonna be able to take the Thunderbolt really nicely. I could have stayed in with my Manetric, just because, yes, um, um, I do have the Line and Run as an ability, so I could get the boost with the Thunderbolt, but I just put him to go again for the HP fire and get some damage. So, he does bring in Chinchino, I cannot stay in, because he more than likely is gonna go for um, Tail Slaps, and if he gets 5 hits, Technician Life Orb's gonna be bad. So I'm gonna go into my um, Clockworks, my Clean Clank, and go for the Tail Slap, and that's not gonna be able to do much. So, I do predict him to switch, because there's nothing he can do, but Psyche has the Wake Up Slap, and I did not predict that, so I just went for the Substitute, and that's totally bad, because I'm not gonna be able to get the Substitute up, and this means this thing is practically useless after Stealth Rock, so I'm gonna have to let this thing in as a Death Holder, and he's not missing any Tail Slaps either, so that's kind of a bad 
but at the same time, right now, I can bring in my um, Rotom Cut, which is back, so he's gonna be able to knock this thing out. But he does make the switch into the Dragon, which is a good play on this part. But I do go for the Eden Power Ice, predicting it, predicting it. He more than likely predicted the Leaf Storm, but that was really obvious, so I just went for the Eden Power Ice. And I'm gonna get a huge amount of damage on the Dragon, which is really nice. But he does make the switch right time to Miz Rivas as I go again for the HP Ice, just because, um, yeah, just. Felt like killing the Dragon, but he wants to keep Dragon for later. So, on um, HP Ice does really nothing, even being spec. So, I'm gonna go again into my Amoongus. As he happens to go for the Heal Bell, waking up his Dragon again. But that's totally fine by me, because right now I can go again for the Spore and put something else asleep. But I do switch into my Slow, um, not my Slow King, but my Rotom Cut, predicting him to go for the Taunt, which works out really nicely because he goes indeed for the Taunt and he would outspeed and block my Spore. So I just go for the Spec Stab Leaf Storm Max Special Attack and it fails to kill the Misrevas because this Misrevas is more likely Max HP, Max Special Defensive Veal Light and is really bulky, believe me. So I'm gonna go into my Amoongus again as he happens to go for the, um, yeah, he happens to go for the Switch into his Rodigon and I try to go for the Spore right now as I know I can take any hit he wants to throw at me and I can basically switch after because I do have the Regenerator but he goes for the Outrage, something I did not predict it I was predicting like Dragon Claw or Earthquake but he goes right for the Outrage I'm gonna block the Outrage of course with the Spore which is really nice because Redicon is now asleep again and right now I can just make the switch because of the Regenerator like I said and I'm going to my Rotom Cut which obviously like we've seen earlier has the HPI especially for Dragons because it's this little dragon well not little but you know what I'm saying um, yeah, I have to waste a move slot just because of Dragon, so that's kind of bad but he brings in the Typhlosion as I go for the Leaf Storm and look how much the Leaf Storm does it's resisted and it does over like 60% well not like 55 I don't even know so I just have to stay in because Stealth Rocks are up and I do not have a spinner like I said before, so I would die anyways. That means I'm gonna have to leave um, Rotom Cut as a death order. But he does make the switch as I bring in Chinchino, he's more likely he's afraid of the Rock Blast. But I do predict the switch and go for the U-turn and this Miss Rivas decides to leave with freaking 1 HP. And this will come in handy for him later on, you will see. So I'm gonna be able to go into my Manetric, but I'm gonna pull a double switch into my... Um, this thing, my god, Amoongus, as he obviously switches out into his Rodigon, predicting me to go for the obvious Thunderbolt or Volt Switch, I don't even know. I could have gone for the Volt Switch there, but um, I do switch right now into my um, Chinchino, which is the only way I'm killing this Rodigon is with Chinchino, because Rotom Cut is now dead and it was the only thing that could add some damage. And I'm gonna have to go for the Tail Slap, and it has a rough skin. I know that going for Tail Slap on Rodigon is basically asking to get killed, but it doesn't even matter because you'll see later on, so I do get a crit, it didn't matter at all because um, after the crit I'm gonna have to take 4 turns to kill him, and um, if I didn't get a crit, um, 5 turns would have been able to knock him out. So he does bring in his Quagsire, I just stay in and went for the Tail Slap, get some, um, yeah, I can get as much damage as possible. I do get a crit, which, um, yeah, it didn't matter at all, you'll see later on, and he's able to knock me out with the Earthquake, that's why I say that it didn't really matter to me with the Red Skin, because I would die anyways, well, I don't know, because Shinshin is really frail. So, I'm gonna be able to go into my Amoongus, which can definitely take this thing out with a Giga Drain, but he goes for the Scald, and I predict him to switch, so I went for the Spore, and, um, yeah, luckily though he doesn't burn me, which is cool, because... If he burn me, well, that's not that it matters to my moves because I'm especially not physical. But um, it would have mattered because I would to start to whittle me down. But he does make the switch right now into his Typhlosion as I go for the obvious Kika Drain trying to kill the Quagsire off. And it's really... it doesn't really do much into Typhlosion of course because it's resisted. I was almost clicking Clear Smog but I don't even think that Clear Smog would have been able to kill him. So I'm just going to predict another Fire Blast going to my Slow King. He does happen to miss the Fire Blast right there, which is kind of unfortunate for him. But as long as he did not get the burn on me, I don't think it mattered too much. So he does go into his Quagsire, and I'm still afraid of this Quagsire being Water Absorbed. That's why I haven't been going for Water type moves, and I've been careful with that all entire battle. So he just stays in as I go for the Skull, predicting the switch, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna throw my DS out of the window, just because now he has the Water Absorb boost on his HP, and it's gonna be hard to take out. But no, he's actually running unaware and not water absorbed. I don't know how common that is, but I 
don't know why I've been thinking that thing was like water absorbed the entire battle when I went to smoke on it and everything said unaware. I don't even know. So this freaking um, Miss Drivas comes here sitting at 1 HP and gets a freaking pain split on me and yeah that happens because he's gonna be able to get like 50% health and bring me down on uh, like exactly 50% maybe a bit more. So um, I do go for this call. Luckily I'm gonna get the burn which is gonna be really helpful. I don't really think it mattered. He said it mattered but I don't really think it mattered just because I could now go again for the scald and I could get a burn with this one and basically going for scald is yeah scald is burns that's what scald does right. So he goes into with Shinchino, he has two guys left, I think it's Shinchino and Typhlosion, he's gonna be able to knock out my um, Slow King with the Tail Slap of course, because Slow King, yeah, stab, Tail Slap, Technician, Life Orb, that was, yeah. So I'm um, gonna be able to bring in my last, which is my Manetric, I am Timid Scarf, so I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt on this Shinchino, like I said, Shinchino is really frail, so I'm gonna be able to knock him out, and he does bring in Typhlosion, even if Typhlosion was Timid Scarf, I'm gonna be able to outspeed him, because Timid Scarf, Manetric outspeeds Timid Scarf, Typhlosion, and that's gonna be the battle, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it, it was a really long battle, and um, yeah, really hard to narrate, because it was always switching in and out, but it was a really close one, because like, I only had my natural left, and he was like at 20%, so that was a pretty cool battle, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I found yesterday that PMP beta is back in PMP, because Xenon is taking care of it right now, and I'm, I done my, I have done already my um, video for there, it's going to be a really cool bat and new battle, so um, stay tuned for the PMP channel, go subscribe to it, and yeah, I'm gonna be put to PMP beta of course, but yeah, soon I'll be on the PMP beta, no, not beta, I'm gonna be on beta right now, I mean, I'm gonna be on the PMP main channel um, soon, because when I get like 500 subscribers, 5000, I don't even know what I'm talking about, so don't, uh, yeah, you can leave the video right now, so bye, later.